Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at drawing and interpreting pie charts. Pie charts are really helpful for seeing proportions of data. So here's an example straight off. The chart below shows the results after 18 children were asked about their favourite sports. How many liked each sport? So we know the full pie chart represents uh, 18 children. Uh, and I think straight off we can see that half of the children like football. So you should really see that about nine children like football. A quarter, just over a quarter like swimming, so maybe you can guess how many people like swimming. And then it looks like the same number are like hockey and tennis. So it gives us a really good idea of the data straight away, uh, kind of in fractions, in proportions. But to be accurate here, we need to get our protractor out and measure some uh, angles here for a proper idea of what's going on. So, in the football quadrant, uh, football sector, uh, we can see the angle is 180 degrees exactly, so we put 180 degrees here in our table. Tennis, let's measure tennis, this is down here, this is 40 degrees. Hockey, yes, that's also 40 degrees. And now, if you do this whole yellow sector, that is 100 degrees. If you need to refresh how to use a protractor, then you should go away and watch my video on using a protractor before we continue. Okay, but if you're happy with protractors, let's continue. So now we know that the angle of the football is 180 over 360. The angle covered by the tennis will be 40 out of the whole circle, which is 360. Again, 40 out of 360, and then 100 out of 360. Uh, and now uh, to we go simplify that fraction because mathematicians always simplify our fractions to make it easy. 180 360th simplifies to one half. 40 360th simplifies to one ninth. Again, one ninth. Uh, but if you need to refresh how to simplify fractions, I've got it here. So 100 360th we're going to simplify. Divide by 10, divide by 10. You divide the top and the bottom by the same number. You get 10 out of 36. And then I think we can simplify by dividing by 2, divided by 2. Um, we get 5 over 18. And that's how we simplify fractions. So you uh, just do simplify fractions, divide the top and the bottom by the same number on, um, as many times as you can. Now to find out the frequency, what we're going to do is we realise there's 18 children. We're going to do a half times 18 is 9. 1 ninth times 18 is 2. 1 ninth times 18 is 2. And 5 18 times 18 is 5. I have a video on multiplying uh, fractions of numbers, uh, fractions of amounts. So if you can't remember, you can watch that video now. I'll link it in the top corner. Now we've got this chart and we're going to try and make a pie chart out of it. So we've got eight people like pizza, five like curry, four like pasta, two like uh, barbecues, and one person likes ice cream. If you add this up, eight plus five plus four plus two plus one, there'll be a total of 20 people. And so you know the total pie chart represents 20 people. So the angle, what we're going to do is we're going to realize that this 36, sorry, 360 degrees represents 20 people. So to find out what one person is, we divide by 20, we get one person is 18 degrees. Use your calculator for this, of course. So we know that one person is represented by 18 degrees. So eight people is represented by eight times 18, 144. Five, is five times 18 is 90. Four times 18 is 72. 2 times 18 is 36, and one person who likes ice cream is represented by 18 degrees. And if you wanted to check, you could check this all multiply, uh, adds up to make 360 degrees. That's a good check to make sure you haven't made a mistake so far. We're going to make a pie chart now. We're going to draw a circle with a center and a line up to the uh, top and to start things off. We take a protractor and we're going to draw a 144 degree sector. Going all the way around to 144 degrees, which is over here. And we draw that like that. Now the next angle is 90 degrees, so we're going to do a 90 degree angle over to here. Drawing that sector like that. 
Next one is 72 degrees, 72 is up here, just past 70, like that. Then 36 is over here at 36. And then we've also got an angle of 18 degrees, which fills the pie chart perfectly. We know we've drawn this correctly. To get full marks in the exam, you need to draw this really accurately. And you need to make sure none of your angles are more than one degree out. And then to make it a nice, clear pie chart, we label the data like this. Okay, I hope you uh, enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you're feeling happy and you're ready to try this yourself, you've got a pie chart here with some information on and a table that would like you to complete. Uh, pause the video and see if you can fill out the entire table, all the missing information from the uh, table. You have to think about this. If you're not quite ready for uh, an example yet, yourself, re-watch the video and see if you can figure out um, how to do this. Okay, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video with Advanced Maths. Remember, we have plenty more videos coming every week covering everything in uh, high school and uh, A-level IB Maths. Thanks for watching guys and good luck in your exams.